everyone this is Ebony and I decided to do a little video on how I make just a simple pan gravy and um, in the pan I've got just I made meatloaf tonight for dinner we're gonna be eating late cuz uh, um, I watched Empire and then I had to do Ava's treatments and stuff so usually Wednesdays we eat late but um I've got a little bit of uh, bacon fat in this pan along with the pan drippings from the meatloaf. And what we're pretty much going to do is we're just making a simple roux. So this is a half cup measure of flour. I guess I probably have about maybe a little bit over a fourth a cup of uh, fat. So you know your roux is just flour and fat so when you make your roux you can use whatever fat you want oil butter um, you know your pan drippings from your the meat that you're cooking like you fried pork chops and you drain most of the oil from the pan those little bits of flour and a little bit of the fat left over makes good gravy so you know You can use that for your your fat, or you can use butter or whatever you prefer. Gravy is not the healthiest thing, but you know I make it every now and then. It it tastes good, so <laughs> usually I make gravy because um, we are not ketchup eaters. I know a lot of people put ketchup on their meatloaf. But see, and I do not like ketchup. I know we're weird. So usually when I make meatloaf, I make a gravy to put over it. So that's what we prefer. I let this brown just a little bit in the pan. And I stir it every now and then. And depending on what color you want your gravy to be, that's how long you're going to cook your roux. Um, my heat's probably on a little under medium, uh, so, you know, just watch your heat. I know a lot of people say they burn, their gravy has a burnt flavor, that's because your roux was burned, so just watch your heat on your pan. You can see I'm cooking in a cast iron skillet, that's what I prefer, so. I'm going to use beef broth to pull the gravy together but you can use chicken stock chicken broth veggie broth you can even use water if you use water I recommend you making sure that you season it pretty good I'm gonna season my gravy with um, salt pepper garlic powder and onion powder I just keep it a little simple Also, make sure you cook your roux to get that raw flour taste out of the roux. You don't want to taste raw flour. It doesn't taste all that great, so. I think the key to not having lumpy gravy is to make sure that your liquid is warm, at least warm. And that makes a world of a difference, so. Alright, that's about the color that I want. I'm going to mix this a little bit. And I'm going to try to do this one-handed. <laughs> I'm going to add the liquid a little bit at a time. And stir it. I'm also going to cut down my heat some. Cut down the temp a little bit. A little bit more liquid. And I'm gonna whisk it till it all comes together. I might have to add a little bit more water to it, but so that's okay. Turn the heat down to low. I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of my liquid. Make 
making gravy is so easy. I see a lot of people say they have a hard time making it, but what I've learned from making gravy is to keep my heat down, you know, relatively low, and not to have it so high. I'm gonna get a little bit more water. Kind of make sure I go around the sides of the pan and get all the bits of through off the sides. Now I'm gonna go ahead and season it. Got some onion powder and garlic powder in here. Fresh cracked pepper, black pepper. And I like to use uh, the Himalayan pink salt. So I just add that sparingly and I'm gonna taste it and see where it's at. Now, of course, if you want your gravy a little darker than this, you can let your roux go a little longer. Cook a little longer in the pan before you add your liquid. Turn it up a tad bit. Once it starts to come to a simmer, it's gonna thicken, so you just definitely wanna watch your heat. I'm gonna go ahead and taste it now and see what it needs. A little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. Actually, I'm going to add a little white pepper. I use white pepper sparingly because it's actually a little bit more potent than black pepper. So I try to go easy on the white pepper. Now, of course, you don't have to use these seasonings. You use whatever you like. Whatever you have in your kitchen, you use. I'm turning my heat just a little bit, turning it up. I mean, gravy is is easy to make. I think a lot of people are scared of it, but. It's pretty easy to make. I'm just waiting for it to come up to simmer. And then once it comes up to simmer, it'll start thickening. And then, you know, gravy freezes really well. So if you have extra gravy left over, you can just cool it down some and put it in a freezer bag or if you have some of those uh, pint containers, um, you could pop it in there and um, put it in the freezer and then whenever you need gravy, you'll have gravy on hand. So we always have extra gravy left, so usually I freeze it. It's 
starting to come up to simmer now. Hope everybody, or people that watched, I hope y'all enjoyed Empire. Personally, I think, um, I think Rhonda went over, <laughs> overboard, but, um, we'll see. Gotta wait till the fall. I think she went overboard. Especially since she's supposedly having some movie deals coming up and stuff. So... I think they might have killed her off, but that's just, that's just what I think. I'm going to taste this one more time. Mmm, that's good. It's perfect now. Now it's coming to summer. Switch to this rubber spatula. Let's see it's thickening now. And then if you have leftover gravy, you can add some frozen veggies to it and um, some meat, some chopped up chicken or whatever, some beef or steak. Throw a pie crust over it or a can of biscuits or if you make biscuits from scratch whatever you like to do and then you'll have a quick and easy pot pie and that's why I like to put stuff in the freezer because there's days when I don't feel like cooking so I can always go into the freezer and I can make an easy quick meal so I'm just letting this simmer a little bit more and letting it thicken a little bit more. Usually when it gets to this point, it's pretty much done. Mr. Johnson's plate up. Go ahead and turn this off. Well, that's a simple pan gravy. I hope everybody enjoyed this video. I hope this encouraged you to make gravy from scratch. It's so easy to make. I'm going to pour a little bit over the meatloaf. This is turkey meatloaf, by the way. We don't eat a lot of beef, so. A little bit over the taters. All right, well, I hope this encourages you to make a supple pan gravy at home. If you have any questions, you can just ask me on Facebook. I'm Ebony, and I hope everyone has a great evening, and thanks for watching. Have a good night. Bye.